3D printing has been rather boring lately. In the last few years, 3D printers have taken very small steps of improvements. And so looking back, yeah, it has been a big leap, but incrementally, it's been pretty small. However, Creolty's Ender 3 V3 Core XZ is about to change that. So let me tell you why this is probably one of the most fascinating and exciting innovations inside the 3D printing realm since maybe three years ago. Maybe not three, let's make that too. And let's thank Realty for sending this 3D printer for review. Make sure to like and subscribe and let's get started about this really, really exciting thing. Yeah, it looks cool, it looks sleek, but let me tell you why the performance is out of this world. So I thought I'd start this video by printing a Benchy. Now I'm holding this little plasticky thing that looks like it hangs onto that because I need to tell you right now, if you buy this printer, do not use this. It doesn't work, it's kind of useless, and it just gets stuck on the actual filament and then you have a problem when printing. So I'm gonna throw it away. This isn't everything I printed. A lot of the things I've printed have been toys for my son. This is probably one of my favorites. It's an F-16 fighter jet and it's really well printed. It is 3D scan, not an actual STL design. So it's got all the imperfections of a 3D scan. In saying that, this printer did this in a couple of hours. The printer here has a print speed of 600 millimeters per second and a top speed acceleration of 2000 millimeters a second. My friends, this is the fastest 3D printer I have ever seen in my life. That means when you want to prototype something really quickly, this is the printer you need to buy. It's fast, it's accurate, and the quality is good enough for a prototype. And when it's three to four times faster, well, then you're cooking. It's incredible. But let me tell you about the functions of this 3D printer, because I think some people might be watching a 3D print video for the first time. So let's start with the head over here. The header is self-contained. It has the fan, the heating unit, and the drive unit for the filament. This is a fantastic addition. I do love this. So if you're looking to buy your first printer, make sure the extruder is inside the head. Otherwise, you're gonna have a hard time. On the right hand side, there's a little box here to note when the filament runs out and stop the print so you can swap out your filament. The filament here, we're gonna get back to it, but it sits right below and I actually don't like the way it's set up. I actually would prefer it to be up high because of the way it kind of gets stuck on things and it kind of hits the cables around here. That's my first sort of negative about this printer. But there might be a few more, so bear with me. The design is really, really rigid. It has to be because it swings around like crazy. And I'm sure you're gonna be seeing some B-roll in a second, but the printer itself, it's just throwing its weight around. The feet need to be really strong and they are. They are very thick circle rubbers. They're very tall actually for most printers. The older printers have little square rubber feet, very thin. This has got really thick ones. The base unit here is also large and thick and heavy. This unit is super heavy compared to other printers. Then we've got a beautiful touch screen right here, full color, and it's got all the capabilities you can imagine a printer having, of course, but it's all touch accessible. No more knobs flicking around and semi-touch or black and white. It's really lovely. And to add to that, and people are gonna be so happy with this, it has Wi-Fi built in. There is no more need to put a memory card in here after you get your SDL sliced and chuck it in to print. You can print straight from the web and it's out of the box. Absolutely fantastic. Creality, thank you so much for putting this feature in. I, I've been waiting for something like this for a long time. The bed is heated, of course, which really helps with that first layer and then getting it off. It is magnetic like before. And this new golden design, I found that it doesn't need any hairspray or glue to get that first layer down. Really, really nice. Following on from that, it does have auto leveling, but I don't know how it does it. It doesn't have the little thing that pops in like a magnet anymore. It is actually auto leveling in a whole different way and it works really, really well. So how does it manage its speed? Well, it's multi-belt driven and there's a lot of belts in here. You can see two here. They are so tightly wound. This whole frame is extremely rigid. There is a motor in here that moves the head around and it's so quick. 
I don't know if you can see it on camera, but that is incredibly quick compared to other printers. And we've got two motors at the back. The stepper motors are actually pretty quiet, but once this machine gets going, it's loud. So with speed comes a little bit of sacrifice on the actual sound. The head also has fans right at the front here and at the back. They are turbine design, I'd call them, and they do push a lot of air through, which is really, really good. Now, maintenance is really easy. It comes with a lot of tools, and this is a bolt that you can take off. So if it ever gets stuck, take off the rubber shield, and you can unscrew this really quickly and easily. And there is a switch up here to release the actual filament. Now, I don't like these little tubes. They're really difficult to feed through once you want to swap the filament. And the heat shield, man, it's a pain to put back in. It's easy enough to take out, but it's a pain to put back in. In fact, swapping filaments on this takes a lot longer than usual. The belts are actually self-tensioning. They've got a little function inside here that will do it itself. And it does go through a pretty lengthy process of actioning that. It goes through a wobble test, I call it, and it takes a long time. It basically throws itself around to try and work out what the vibrations are so it can counter those vibrations when it actually prints. So my recommendation, put this on an extremely solid bench, one that doesn't wobble because this really, and I cannot emphasize how much this throws its weight around. In regards to cleaning this bed, the bed has been fantastic and easy to clean. I've noticed it's a long stronger than the black versions, the plasticky ones. This seems to have some sort of coating, maybe like a metal coat that provides much more strength when you pull things off. It doesn't feel like it's gonna rip the top off. My other Ender 3 is driven from the top. The filament goes straight in, there's no tubes. I understand why it's done, because it's throwing itself around so much, the weight and movement could snap the actual filament, so I understand, but I kind of feel there could have been a better system up top to manage it, but they've put it down here. Second of all, this filament right here, it says hyper series. Now, Creelty has noted that you need this special fast filament. So the first thing I did was test with a different filament. And to be honest, I didn't see any perceivable difference. The print still came out the same. And I don't know if you need to pay the premium, but if you're getting this printer, you might as well get a few rolls of hyper fast filament just to have around, just to test with. So then in case something does change, especially with filaments that are fancy colors, they've got little bits inside to look a little bit different, like little sparkly bits. Sometimes it could have an issue. And I did notice with my black UV filament, it, there was some warping happening. I don't know if it was the speed, but of course you can turn it down. Now, speaking of software, if you wanna use this right now, today you do need Creality software. So if you like any other slicer, you won't have the profile that's specific to this printer. And I would recommend using Creality's one to get the prints just right. Make sure to slice it with that because the profiles are up to date and ready for this. Now, Creality says it can print up to 12 times faster than a previous printer. But in my testing, it was about three to four depending on the print. If it is a smaller print, it is quite fast. Like it can go up to that 12 times. But if it's a more complex print, it does slow down to make sure it hits those right corners or those little bits. So it really depends on your print. It is up to 12 times faster, but on average, I would say it's three to four times faster. So if you have multiple printers to try and do multiple designs at once because they take so long to print, I think this printer is a much better choice. And starting from 500 Australian dollars, this is a well worth printer for the performance, especially if this is not your first printer, it's going to get the job done faster and quicker. I would say a lot of businesses or hobbyists who use this to create little parts will actually prefer this than any other printer. Because what's the point of waiting 10 hours, 15 hours for a little piece when you can print this in half that time. Studying print is really simple. You tap into the menu, choose the file. You can actually upload the file straight to the memory in here or print from the web. One of the things I find really interesting about this functionality is that you can actually see the image that you're printing. So if you've got multiple versions of a design, you can actually see it straight away. Now, once you press print, it'll go through the process of heating itself up and starting. Now, one of the things I've noticed, it is taking a little bit longer than most printers. For some reason, it just likes to take its time. And it also has a lot of calibration it does beforehand. 
Now, that's okay because that means that every time you print, your first layer is going to be perfect. And not on that, you know it's going to be, so you're not too stressed about the fact that the start of the print takes a little bit longer. So here we have a Benchy printing. I can show you around the settings. We've got Wi-Fi, we can stop and pause. We can of course change settings like the temperature and the bed temperature. We can go into here and adjust things, the extruder, and cooling, everything is adjustable and customized. Then if we go into the folder, you can actually see all the designs. There's the car I printed, you can actually see it, which is pretty cool compared to when you only selected by names and names wouldn't fit on the screen, which is great. In the settings, we've got a lot of things like screen brightness, we can pump that up a little bit so you can see what's going on. We've got language selection, updates, and updates actually happen automatically, which is fantastic. And network settings, meaning, yep, fully wireless and here I am connected to my mesh network and camera. This is the part, there is a USB on the side here that you can connect a camera and we've got AI functionality that I'm unable to test because I don't have that specific camera from Creality. But honestly, this is a feature I really, really wanna test and then actually start messing around with the print and making it break and seeing if the AI picks it up. Let's talk about print quality because at the end of the day, no matter how fast it is, you need to make sure that the prints come out really well. This is a Benchy, the classic test you do with 3D printers, and it took 12 and a half minutes to print. And that's actually just the print time because there's also preparation time. So when the system goes through a bit of a check, heats up, then the total is a little bit closer to 15, 16 minutes. But the print time, the print time is less than 13 minutes, which is absolutely incredible. When I tested this on my previous 3D printer from Ender, yeah, it took a lot longer. Print quality of the Benchy is damn good. I cannot find too many faults. The bottom of this little boat does have a little bit of warping. So overall, the speed doesn't actually affect the quality of the print, which makes this printer a great choice for people who need things done really quickly. If you don't need it to be done three to four times faster, you could probably just go with a cheaper printer. I know Creality has discounted a lot of their printers to like the $200 marks, like 250, 300. This starting from 500, it does mean that this is probably the more expensive choice. But I can certainly say you will be very impressed with this Ender V3 3 Core XZ. Now this car I printed here is a Banshee from GTA and the reason I printed it, I haven't really ripped off the bottom stands here because I just haven't had time, but I really wanted to see how smooth it creates the top of the car and if there are any issues on it. And this is the other type of filament. This is a filament that is really meant for like statues. It's got that stone look and I wanted to see how it does with a different filament with bits inside. and. Honestly, it did perfectly well compared to the one I did in the hyperfast white. So final thoughts. The Ender 3 V3 Core XZ is an extremely fast printer. The speed doesn't seem to affect the quality of the prints, but the speed does depend on the complexity of your print. So if you think you're printing some crazy bits and pieces that are sticking out left, front and center, and you think that's gonna print 12 times faster, well, think again. But that's not saying it's not faster. Like I said, on average, I think it was about two to three to four times faster depending on the print. That's the real world performance. The need for speed has been filled and the Core XZ right here is definitely a contender for one of the best printers under a thousand dollars. So friends, big thanks to you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like content like this. Big thanks to Creality for sending these printers for review. I highly appreciate it. I love testing out 3D printers and my son loves getting free toys out of these, which is <laughs> always great to see. Now, if you wanna see another printer being reviewed on this channel, leave the brand name below or the model and I'll see if I can source it for you. Big thanks for watching and I'll catch you in another one. Bye.